All right, guys. It is my last day in Texas. Actually, it's not my last day in Texas. My last day was last night. I haven't filmed a whole lot while I was here because I really wasn't here to explore Texas this time. I'll be back around another time to do that. I was here to meet my granddaughter for the first time and to see Blaine and Darian, his girlfriend. All right, guys, so it is, what the heck is today? Today is Friday. It is dark and gloomy right now. Um, the winds have been blowing all day long. It's been raining just a little bit. It's kind of died down again now, but my son just showed up after work. We got his car loaded up with everything that I brought for him, and we are going over to his house. I'm finally going to get to see and meet my little granddaughter for the very first time. She's one year old, and I'm just now finally gonna get to meet her. So um, they had moved out here uh, before she was born. So um, yeah, gonna be pretty cool. I know. It's the tiny beanie bean. The very first time I've ever seen and held the beanie bean. Oh. <laughs> and here's Blaine back here looking exactly like me. <laughs> she backs up, she'll look back like she's backing up a car. Oh, yeah? Okay, let's see you run. We can play some phase 10 while you're here. Run! <laughs> I see you. Run! How hilarious. <laughs> we made the Saturday night snack in a movie. We went to the pumpkin patch. We made awesome snacks. If you guys haven't seen that, go over to the other channel and check it out. I've been preparing all this stuff this morning, getting ready to hit the road again because today I've got a four hour drive to get to Louisiana. Yes, guys, I am going to Louisiana. I am so excited. I can't stand it. <laughs> All right, guys. Holy crap. I'm ready to roll. That was a big job getting ready, and I didn't film anything because I wanted to make sure I had everything done. There's just a whole lot of stuff you have to do to prepare to get back on the road, and then towing the car, that adds even more. So, All right, let's roll. Guys, we are on the road, leaving Texas and heading to Louisiana to meet Marion. I put out that video asking her if she would meet with me, see how things go between us, how we get along in person, and she said yes, and I am heading out there right now. Guys, I gotta tell you, this has been such an emotional journey so far. I mean, whew. emptying the house, seeing everybody back home for what feels like the last time, even though I'll be back around, you know, seeing my daughter and her family and the girls and, uh, and my parents and, you know, leaving all that, leaving the home, getting rid of everything, leaving that security of having a home base go home to. This is my home now. And then coming out here, exhausting myself for three days, driving 10 hours a day to get out here. Then I got to see Blaine and Darian and the baby for the first time, that little beam. And now I have to leave them. So it's like I'm just, I'm so choked up. Just about everything, you know. Losing Virginia during this. And now I'm going to meet somebody new. And it's just, everything is so tax 
insane. It's it's crazy. I, I'm so excited at the same time as being so sad and so exhausted and hyper. It's it's absolutely crazy, guys. Oh. I can't cry right now. I gotta watch the road. <laughs> but yes, the matter at hand, I am driving four hours to Louisiana today. I got a site at a uh, local campground out here. I'm gonna be there for five days, I think it is. I'm gonna get there today, get things set up, and then we are going to go out and spend the day together tomorrow. Uh, this, <laughs> oh boy. I have no idea, guys, what to expect from this. Uh, I, I, I can't even talk about it right now. I gotta pull myself together so I can drive. <sighs> guys, getting through that part of Texas right there, past the Minute Maid Stadium, and through all those bridges on bridges on bridges and 12 lanes of highway, that was absolutely crazy. And there's been so many right lanes here that have turned into exit only lanes. This would be difficult in a car and I'm driving a giant RV. I bet I got about 60 feet total here. <laughs> Anyways, it appears we are through the difficult time and it is 220 miles to Brobridge, Louisiana. Holy crap! I've barely ever been out of Ohio, guys. <laughs> I'm traveling the United States. What in the world? in the world is this coming up <laughs> it looks like an enormous bridge that just goes straight up one side and straight down the other I don't know if I should laugh or cry myself holding my breath as we're coming down the other side. <laughs>
I guess from the campground where I'm going. I can't believe I'm in Louisiana, guys. I, I have just seriously barely been out of Ohio. I've been to probably six states, maybe. Maybe seven, I'm not sure. I had to think about it. Um, and then in the past week here, I've been to like five more. <laughs> maybe only four, I don't know. But anyway, so I'm gonna get everything set up and opened up and uh, you know, just relax tonight and then tomorrow I am meeting Mary and I'm gonna go over to her house, pick her up, we're gonna spend the day together. Um, I guess have our first date. <laughs> that sounds so crazy. But yeah, I mean, we've been talking a little bit and um, we're just gonna spend the day getting to know each other and you know, trying to learn if we are compatible enough to make this happen. I mean, I'm, I'm really excited. You know, it seems so crazy for something to happen so quickly, but I mean, I don't know, man. This is just, this is what it is. You know, this is how I live my life. If I decide to do something, I just go for it and I do it. I don't lollygag around and go, okay, well, maybe on down the road, I'll this or that. I mean, it took me years to actually pull off getting an RV and getting on the road. But here I am, you know, when I had the idea to do it, I stuck with it and I pushed forward and I worked on all my uh, my finances, got everything straight and it took years and years, but I went head first all the way and here I am today, living in my RV and traveling the country. You know, when I decided a few years ago that I was gonna start a skateboarding company, I was like, boom, it's done. I mean, within a month, I had stickers of merchandise and my own skateboards, people skateboarding for me, and it was just, it was absolutely nuts. A whole website built, and uh, yeah, I just, I don't know, I don't play around when I want to do something. So, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Stick around. 11 miles, guys. Here. I got everything pretty much set up. I pulled those blinds already because it's so hot. Got the air on. I got everything rolling here. I want to take a shower. Let me show you what it looks like outside first. I can tell you this. I'm going to have to make friends with bug spray out here. I've already been bit up about 75 times by mosquitoes. There we are right on the edge of the lake. You'll see there's a bunch of spaces down here. There's actually another one right beside me, but I'm not going to film them. And this is the lake right here, guys. Look at this. I am going to be doing some morning shows over here. There's a lot of awesome stuff here to film. I cannot wait just to kind of take a stroll around here. Maybe this evening once it cools down. But this is a pretty big park. They've got like showers and a pool down this way and stuff. I'm not exactly sure what this is over here yet. I've got to look at the map and, and see what the deal is. But there's the bee. And yep, there we are. Fire pit right there if I want to have a fire. And there's the lake. Beautiful. All right, I am going in to take a shower and cool down. I'll see you guys in the next video.